My name is Kelly Papel. I'm with Envino Engineering, LLC, located in Tampa, Florida. And today I would like to talk about combustion flame visual inspection. Combustion uh, flame visual inspection. The following presentation is overview of the combustion flame analysis for plant personnel. For the inspection of combustion flame for performance. Remember, combustion testing adjustments should always be done with the use of a combustion analyzer by a certified person. However, a daily visual inspection provides an insight into the combustion performance, and this can be done by the boiler plant personnel. has a bright yellow color, indicating a high temperature that is distributed throughout the burner throat. There should be no dark spots in the burner throat. The flame front is in the correct position. Therefore, we are looking for a bright yellow color throughout this burner area. The flame has a swirl to the operation, which is mixing the fuel with the air. The end result of this pr process is low excess air, no carbon monoxide, and higher boiler efficiency. Imperfect flame, the throat does not have a red-orange glow or the high temperature. The flame temperature here is about 2800 degrees. With this high temperature, the burner throat should be that red-orange color. And the flame front being too far away from the burner throat. If the flame front is too far away, the radiation or heat does not get to the burner throat, which does not heat it up evenly. Remember one thing, the burner throat here and here helps the combustion pro process by providing the temperature to support the combustion process. Remember three things you need in the combustion process. Oxygen, fuel, and temperature. And then the burner throat helps support that temperature. <laughs> Efficiency results in high levels of carbon monoxide or high levels of excess air. This is just showing you know, the efficiency of the combustion flame. The burner throw area have, has areas of red and orange coloration, but does not completely color the entire throat area. The result was for poor airflow distribution to the burner, resulting in high levels of carbon monoxide. As you can see, these are areas where it is heated and areas of poor airflow distribution. <laughs> As the previous slide, the burner is displaying a slow or negative 
features. So the flame front is too far away from the burner throat. Airflow mixture is not achieving proper mixture. High levels of carbon monoxide and high levels of excess air. The also there was deficiencies in the burner throat tile and it was not uniform. So you can see the dark areas and these are the areas here where we are getting the temperature onto the throat area. combustion flame operation the throat is totally red and orange in color as you can see up in here down here and all over here results in proper air and fuel mixing flame fronts in the correct positioning resulting in low excess air levels and no carbon monoxide in the process <laughs> Another proper combustion um, process, uh, the burner throat is red, orange, hot, which means the flame front is in the correct position. The swirl operation achieve a proper air fuel mixture. <laughs> front view is uh, more difficult to see the total operation we can see the flame and the flame geometry but we can't really see the throat uh, burner throat performance therefore we should always be looking at the back uh, wall area forward to the burner another key factor is the visual inspection ports on the back of the border should always be kept clean so allowing the border plant personnel to, to achieve visual inspection. Proper combustion efficiency, visual inspection is key factor to over board, overall border efficiency. Visual inspection is only one piece of checking the combustion efficiency. Full testing should be performed at least every three months by a qualified person. A person coming in testing for combustion uh, process does not cost you money, it saves you money. Our approach, we're part of your team. Short term impact, we do board of deep dive analysis, optimization, engineering, reliability, steam balancing, and training to make sure that you overall achieve the highest steam thermal cycle efficiency. Long term, we are working on upgrades, process changes, and adding new technology. Thank you for your time and have a great day.